Before we get into today's video, I'd like to ask for you guys to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subs. Thank you. Alright guys, so we're back for another Five Nights Tower Defense video. And today, um, I, well, I live streamed basically my uh, entire playthrough of this challenge, but it's basically how far can Tarnish bring Bonnie on his own, uh, like how much of the game can he actually be? I'm not including military in this, uh, we just jumped straight into FNAF 1, um, and we started, we started with Nightmare, um, and we basically just gradually decreased the difficulty until we either, uh, beat the into all of the game, so, you know, FNAF 1 to 3, uh, or we lost on the lowest difficulty, uh, so let's get right. So here we load into FNAF 1 at night 1. We're on Nightmare difficulty at the minute, uh, but obviously this will decrease Now moving time. on to it's night 2, harder. this is a now, this similar is situation really with night easy, 1. There the is just night. not enough difficulty you can do here. This with the the enemies die far too ready, quickly, as you're they do not have enough health. So there's no surprise here. And the, the only, only threat really is the boss. Is that you don't have the problem is there's only just the boss, immediately, so you're only fighting there, and they move so slowly that you can just... They're exposed to tarnish for too long, so they just get killed. Moving on to night 3, we're still on night difficulty at this point and it's the same story as last two these enemies just don't have enough health to live against tarnish spring bonnie obviously tarnish spring bonnie released you know post fnaf 3 power creep so fnaf 1 is just not going to be able to hold a candle um he just has too much dps at this point and most of these uh, stages are intended to be completed with like the starter units that you're given like freddy on his own um so even at nightmare this is not enough of a challenge uh, but yeah, trust me, we're getting close to the hard part. So this is where things started to get very interesting. Uh, this is actually where we suffer our first loss against Night 4. And this is mainly just due to the pure enemy spam and the introduction of Gordon Freddy. Now the interesting traits about these Gordon Freddies is that they're flashing units so that they can uh, phase through attacks. They have like small amounts of invincibility frames. And with this, um, and combine their health pool, when we just get these massive stacks of enemies, um, these Gordon Freddy's just kind of eating a lot of the attacks, just leads to such a huge buildup of uh, enemies that you just can't get through it uh, with uh, Tarnished. Um, I was thinking maybe you could get through this with Vengeance, tar um, the Vengeance Tarnished, but I'm not entirely convinced that like his DPS would increase enough for that to be relevant. Um, but I'm, I'm, I welcome you guys to try that out with the shiny Tarnished, uh, who's Vengeance. Maybe I'll try it again uh, on a live stream one day. Um, but yeah, uh, after we switch from Nightmare to Impossible, uh, we continue from Impossible here on out until the next uh, loss. Um, and yeah, on Impossible, it was just about doable. Um, you, can, you can see here, it does get pretty close at the end. Uh, it's never the bosses that are a problem, it's always the enemies. And this is night 5 of FNAF 1, and this one was also a doozy. So we're on impossible difficulty at the minute, instead of Nightmare. Uh, this would have been, I'm, I'm telling you for sure, this is not possible with Vengeance, Shiny Tarnished, um, even... If you add him on Nightmare, it's it's just not. You just don't have the damage levels here. You can see here through this battle footage, this the amount of uh, enemies that just get spawned, and there's just so many of them. And you know, even if it's not an exact one shot kill, um, the problem is is there's just a wave of withered Golden Freddies right there, and uh, Tarnish just can't get through all that on his own. There's only he's a free placement unit, which is very good, uh, but we need more for this and since he doesn't do splash damage you can't really get through those with the golden freddies effectively um but yeah overall this was a hard night it led us uh to being pushed to hard difficulty so we only have medium and then easy left for this to be possible for the challenge so let's see where we can get to 
So here we are, FNAF 1 Night 6, and you may be thinking, if you haven't, maybe uh, you're not too familiar with uh, the difficulties of this game. We're actually on medium difficulty, my apologies. We really actually have one difficulty starting to go down to. Um, you may think, okay, well, this is going to be like the hardest one so far. And you would be absolutely wrong. This was probably one of the easiest, like, except for maybe Night 1, this is probably the easiest night in the entire run. And the simple reason for that is the and most of the enemies spawn all the way at the bottom, um, where they have to walk an exceptionally long distance. And there is a lot of enemies that are just incredibly weak, which is in part helped with the medium difficulty setting. Um, but to be honest, you could probably beat this on Nightmare, because there's not really, like, I don't think there's many fan uh, Withered Gorn Freddy's actually spawn on this night. Uh, so yeah, this was a very easy run. So that is FNAF 1 complete. Now, in the interest of not boring you guys for this challenge, uh, FNAF 2 was significantly easier than FNAF 1. Um, it is also, you know, potentially because, you know, we swapped string nightmare difficulty all the way down to medium. Um, but it's also just the way these nights are structured. They're just not as hard as FNAF 1. Uh, there's a lot less scary things happening uh, for, like, the first, like, four nights. Um, there's really, like, no... There's not many flickering enemies. Like, FNAF 1 really starts to spam them. Uh, for the first three nights of FNAF 2, they're basically just reskinned FNAF 1 nights, to be honest. The maps look slightly different, of course. But the actual... In terms of the actual difficulty, um, it's pretty much identical. I mean, there's more of the units. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you know, it's difficult just because there's more of them. It only starts getting difficult when there's, like, uh, strong bulky units and there's, like, you know, 500 of them all kind of mixed together in one. Uh, that's when, you know, having one unit with three placements uh, starts to show weakness, especially when it's single target. But since these guys are so weak or they're not really placing the stronger ones in massive batches, uh, the damage that Tarnished is doing is just too much for these guys to handle. And we get the wins here fairly easily. Now, just in time for you to think that this challenge is easy, it is now time for this challenge to really ramp up in difficulty. Um, FNAF 2 Night 5 is ridiculously hard um, for one, like for three units. Well, you know, it's one unit, but there's three of them to take on. Uh, the diverting paths aren't the massive issue here. It is the pure unadulterated Golden Freddy plus regular unit spam, um, along with the Shadow Bonnies, uh, it just, or it's Shadow Bonnies, Shadow Freddies, my apologies, um, they just have so much health, even on medium difficulty, and the, again, the flashing units are the downfall of a single unit challenge, especially when they're not splash, it just allows for such an accrual of units to start happening, uh, or enemies to start happening, that you just cannot physically recover. Um, now, night six, now obviously this did uh, force us to have to switch to easy difficulty, um, but, you know, we were still in the challenge, so night five was complete. Moving on to night six, this was a really easy night, and this definitely can be completed on higher difficulties, and that's just because of how few and far between uh, the really scary enemies are, and they don't really spam that much to you, uh, and again, the bosses are never really the... the the problem with this challenge. Now, unfortunately here, I was really dumb. I forgot to record FNAF 3 Night 1. Now, it was on easy difficulty, and it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Uh, no repetition there. Um, it was just basically flat health enemies, only had about 4,000, and Tarnished Spring Bonnie, you know, he can get 1,500 DPS on his own, so when there's, you know, three of them all clumped in one space and they have decent range, it really actually wasn't that bad. Uh, it was a first try victory, uh, no problems at all. And unfortunately, FNAF 3 uh, Night 2 is where this challenge basically becomes impossible. Um, sadly enough, it just becomes a game of there are too many numbers on their side, and there's not enough on our side. Um, the enemies just have way too much health, and they're way too plentiful, as, and Tarnish literally just can't a bit the DPS to actually do this. Um, so it's a shame, but I we did actually get further than I thought we would. I think we were, I thought we would get stopped at uh, FNAF 3 Night 1, uh, but we did actually get past it, and we got stuck at FNAF 3 Night 2, 
Uh, now, to be fair, even if we managed to fluke our way through this, like if you had Vengeance, Time Spring Bonnie, and you had the most godly placements of all time, um, you would be able to fluke your way probably to Night 3, and you'd probably be swiftly put into an end. It's definitely not possible to beat the entire game, even if you just skipped right the way to uh, FNAF 3 Night 6, because FNAF 3 Night 6 just spawns so many enemies with so much health, and it basically requires you, even in normal play, to have AoE units. Otherwise, it is almost impossible uh, to actually beat them uh, properly. Uh, so anyway, that is the answer to the question. Uh, with a shiny Town of Spring Bonnie, with the Shadow trait, you can get to FNAF 3 Night 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want me to do more of these, like just do different towers, um, it's going to be a little bit limited in terms of what I can pick, because they need to be purchasable like, fairly early on um like scott costs like five thousand so most of the time i'm just not going to be able to place him so i'll just lose uh but yeah let me know if there's any other units that you want me to try out and uh, i'll see if i can do it anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye